it's a question of trying to balance everything, getting the right amount of coal, steam, and it, everybody thinks it's kind of easy, but it's a lot of work. Uh, we went through about five tons of coal today and probably about 4,000 gallons of water, so, you know, there's a lot that goes on when we're up there working the engine. About 2,500 degrees in the firebox if we're working the fires right, but that's what we need to make this thing go. Not real efficient, but it's real powerful. Now the engineer has the final thing in it, and it's critical that he run it, uh, you know, in a safe and good fashion, no question about that. But the fireman's got to be there because he's got to supply the energy for him to be able to run the train. This thing here, you have to listen to it, you have to feel it. It's all done by sight and sound, and it'll, the engine will talk to you as we're the diesels pretty much with your, your meters and electronic controls. The locomotive is the, I would say, the symbolism of American railroading. When the steam locomotive died, the romance of railroading died. It's a machine that demonstrates the true sound of power.